what happens if we keep increasing the voltage? Then we'll have more and more liberated electrons and ions. We still have those recombine and pull away ones. For example, these are the pull away ones. Uh, it is always one electron versus one ion, and this is one to one pair, one to one pair, so on and so forth. And because now the voltage is stronger, we will have some electrons that contribute to the increase of the signal. So for example, there comes a super energetic electron. So this electron ionizes an ion itself, and after the ionization, it still has energy left. So it's going to create an ionization track, and along the track, there are other ionized electrons because of because of the, the, the super powerful electron here. So those, those ions, sorry, those electrons, they created other one-to-one -one, uh, ionization pair. For example, one here, one here, one here. So overall, if you take a look at this region, uh, they are one incoming signal, but four ionization generated. Uh, this is not the most scientific example, but just to illustrate the idea. So it's not one to one anymore, it's one to four. And more to that, if the voltage goes higher, it can be one versus creates five pairs, one creates six pairs. So that's why this region is called proportional region. So the signal intensity is proportional to the applied voltage um, so that it's a steady slope right here. And ion chamber within that region is normally called proportional counter.